Good morning everyone. Welcome to the sixth video of Axiox. And in today's video, we are going to talk about directory enumeration and web uh, enumeration. So, what do you mean by web enumeration? Basically, when you scan a device with Nmap, you get to know that there are two very important and very common ports that are open. Those ports are port 443 and port 80. So, port 443 and port 80 talks about HTTP and HTTPS subject, uh, HTTPS respectively. Port 80 uh, is about HTTP and for, uh, 443 is HTTPS. Now, HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, right? So, what they basically do is that they open a web server. Now, when you open a web server, what you basically do is a web server is a program that uses HTTP protocol to serve files that from web pages to users. So basically, when I open this uh, particular page, this uh, particular page in my browser, what this does is it goes to this computer and it goes to this particular path and it opens this page and it is opened using HTTPS. So I know that I am connecting to this particular host and I'm connecting with the help of HTTP, HTTPS connection, which is in port 443. And then thus my computer is serving the web pages. Basically what this computer is serving is just text. And that text is being transferred into a uh, dynamic interface and into all these web pages by the help of my browser. Now, if you go to inspect element of any page, you would get to know that this is all the uh, text data that is being sent here. Now, once my computer, once my browser gets that data, it trans, it, uh, it reads and understands that data and it processes it in this way. So this is how it is being rendered to me. So once that is done, once this is rendered to me, I can have one copy of my web page to work on this. Now. Look at this site, scanme.nmap.org. Now, this is a uh, computer which is uh, op uh, which with this web page is open in port 80, right? So, in order to understand what, uh, how to enumerate or how to get more information about this particular host, the first thing we'll use is a tool called Nikto. So, let's do Nikto minus H. Minus H means uh, host. So, HTTP scanme.nmap.org nmap.org so as you see this computer starts uh, scanning this network scanning this particular computer I get to know its target IP address I get to know its hostname its port and all the Apache services and all the different services that's there now keep in mind that everything that Nikto tells you about here in this uh, in its test isn't something to really worry about now, there are a lot of times when like, and the XXS protection header is not defined. This header can hint to the user to uh, protect against some form of XXX. So these are very minute vulnerabilities with Nikto tells you about. It basically tells you about a lot of vulnerabilities and even the big vulnerability, the vulnerabilities which might impact a lot to the web server, you would find them with the help of Nikto. So the first thing you should do whenever you find a port 80 open is run Nikto and figure out what are the common vulnerabilities that the server can talk about talks about so now the next thing to do is for instance this is a uh, this site and it is opening this um, this is scanning right now i want to go to this site and go to send a request like this you know i'm looking for a directory called fg 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 now i know that directory does not exist so it will tell me not found right but for instance i want to find out all the directories that does exist in the web route now, how would I do that? The process to do that is to continuously send different kind of requests to the server. Now, what do you mean by request to the server? Now, for instance, see, this is a server. I go to inspect element. I go to network, right? Now, I come here and type non-exist and press enter. So now you see, this is the request that is going. So if I look in the request, the request URL is non-exist and the request method is get. So I can look at the raw headers and I can see that this was the request that was sent 
by my computer and this is the response 404 not found because it's not found so to automate this entire process and find uh, with a different word list and find out what are the different directories and files that are there in the server we'd use a different tool known as derb so wait a second so here you go dirb http scan me dot nmap dot org so as you see this tool it starts scanning the entire website and it uh, scans it with the help of a different word list that's given here user share word list of common dot txt now it already found a directory got dot svn so if i go here and if i go dot svn it's telling me you do not have permission to access SVN of the web. That means that this directory does exist even if I do not have permission. And that is because it is not returning a 404 response but a 403 forbidden. So what derp does is it finds such responses and hence find different directories that are there in the server. Now it uses this word list so your uh, way of finding is as good as the power of your word list, right? So there are also other things you can do in Derb. For instance, like Derb has like Kali Linux puts with a number of word lists. So you can go to user share word lists D I R B and here you'll find a lot of different word lists, right? Now for instance, you want to use extensions. Now, why would you use extensions? The reason is that is these are directory names. These are different directories that are there in the server. Now, for instance, you want to find out about the different files that are there in the server, like index.html, index.php, and whatnot. So, the thing to do there is to use a word list and also an extension list. Like for instance, this will keep on scanning as big as the word list is and it will tell you the different directories and files which you will find in the server. So if I clear this and if I type this minus x h dot html, when I do that, I talk about this derp using a word list and using minus x as html in there is only one extension that is dot html now let's see what happens as you can see when i give an extension list it uses all those words in this word list and also the extension list so it's going to use that extension to look for files also in the server now for instance i want to give more than one extensions i want to give a word list to write all the extensions there what i can do is i will give a small small x user share word list dirb extensions common dot txt now you see all these extensions are loaded from this particular file and now all those extensions are actually gonna work once once you've ca once it calculates all the words that you'll need to search in it will start searching using all these different extensions asp asp backed you see all the different extensions are being searched with the help of the same word so that is how you can use dub now what you can also do is you can also specify a custom word list by using minus w right so user share word lists dub now as you see the word list has changed and all those different which uh, is working all those different extensions are working so once that is done you can use all these different methods to figure out what are the different word lists that are there in the server now Nikto will also tell you about it like you see Apache mod negotiation is enable multiple views which allows attackers to easily brute force file names so 
these kind of vulnerabilities once you find these kind of vulnerabilities what you can do is you can always go and search in the internet and find out about the different exploits in that like for instance if likto told me that there is a dub, uh, blog there is a wps blog in the server i would use a tool like wps scan or joomla i would joom scan in order to figure out more information about these servers now we'll go into that with as step by step cases as we use virtual machines in the next tutorials but for now know that nikto using nikto and derb is the most common thing most common web enumeration tools that you will be using now another very important web enumeration is uh, using robots.txt now what is robots.txt so robots.txt is a txt file web ma masters create to instruct robots especially search engine robots that like google bot google bot is google search engine how to crawl and how to index web pages in this site so basically what search engines do is like they have crawlers the crawlers are like spiders they go through all the web pages and index these web pages now using robot.txt once uh, google's bot goes into robots.txt it is asked to not index or index certain files certain web pages certain directories depending on the user agent that is using it like for instance i want to go to i am going to a random website and as you can see this is quite, quite a random university website so now I would simply go here on it on the web root and type robots.txt. So once I do that, you will see there are a lot of different links like blog, like uh, sitemap blog. All these links which are not allowed, which are allowed to this user agent, but in some cases you can disallow this. You can choose any user agent, and as a result of which, all these will be blocked by your bots, blocked to the bots. But the hacker or the user who actually over enter into robot dust txt can find out like what i find out here is like there is a blog blog directory so if i go here and i type blog i would find a blog here which is the blog of this website and when you enumerate further into here you would also figure out that this blog website is running with wordpress so using wordpress now you can enumerate further into wordpress and figure out how you can hack that website so there are a ton of things like this a ton of uh, web enumeration which will be, which will be following in the future i have also told you about shodan which is uh, a very powerful uh, interface but there is also another thing i would want to talk about those are web uh, those are extensions right so what extensions are like i have a, this extension like webalizer right now once i go into this website i just browse into this website i get to know the operating system the advertising network the web server and all those different information about this particular website right so extension like webalizer extension like grease monkey extensions like uh, firefox hack hackbar quantum these extensions are actually very useful for you as you will provide uh, go through the next tutorials right for now know that there are firefox extensions for hacking there are a different number of firefox add-ons like tamper data firebug hackabar cookies manager no script grease grease monkey user agent switcher so once so i would recommend you to download all these extensions in firefox and so as you progress to the new tutorials these extensions will provide you a better way to understand also keep in mind that viewing page source will actually let you view the raw text data that the website is serving to you so and many of course in google uh, in google pages viewing page source will give you a lot of irrelevant information but if you go to a particular website and view the page source of that particular website a lot of information you get about it is important like comments like developer information like anything that's left behind or any script that is not being used in the web server so as we process through the tutorials i am sure all of these is going to be more clear to you for now i hope you li uh, like this tutorials of web enumeration thank you